So the gift of duality are the seven levels of perception. Um, four actually are in duality and three of them are in oneness. But it is there where it begins. It teaches us that there are these seven ways to observe life. That is very important. We bring that forward with us. Also the gift that it gives is our inner family. But let's just look, for example, at these perspectives. The time maps, I've drawn four that we can access. Let's say we are hitting a bump in the road of our life. This is not a reality we want to live. Okay, along comes somebody that wants to break into our house and steal our property. Not our reality. We don't need these hard knocks anymore. You can look at it from one level. You can look at it from the God level. And you can say, okay, what am I depleting my environment of? For example, a master acts interacts sparingly with others. Because if they do not, if they're there to play all the games, it drains themselves and they drain others. So they interact sparingly. And when they interact, it's deep and meaningful. So this is the God perspective. The shamanic perspective would be, I can take my house and put it in stealth mode. I can put it in a pocket of, of um, completely different quality and the one down here will not even be able to see it. If you raise it high enough, the thief can't see it. <coughs> he will look and see an empty piece of property or he'll see an old empty house standing there. He won't see your beautiful home. The shamanic, the magical the healing through remembered oneness perspective and the mystical perspective in physicality. Those are the ones that lift you into different time maps so that you can raise above by changing your perspective the bump in the road. As you go into oneness, there are the additional three of metaphysics, of, um, of godhood, and then it, the ongoing revelation of infinite intent. Those perspectives, um, again, anything that, that you wish to lift up and over, you do it with those perspectives. How can you possibly then ever fear anything in the future? Because even if the worst thing that one fears comes about, you will find that... Um, you can lift yourself up and over. In the past, I have said, trust that the infinite will lift you up and over. You are becoming one with the infinite. There is a spiritual maturity that you're reaching. This is the gift of the seven perspectives. 